Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to the day's gospel reflection. Theodora, the sister of St. Thomas Aquinas, asked him a question on his last visit to her. She asked how to become a saint. As usual, the angelic doctor, St. Thomas Aquinas, gave a clear and crisp reply. He said, Will it? Will it? There is a saying, Where there is a will, there is a way. No saint is an accidental saint, although the initial process must have been an accident, but then the later process is because of the determination and the will of the person concerned. The Catechism of the Catholic Church teaches us that saint is a lover, not that he is able to love so well, but that having touched by Jesus, he is able to give that same love to others in his own way possible. There are two words that we usually use in our day-to-day -day life. They are potentiality and actuality. Potentiality is a capacity for something and actuality is the reality. So all are potentially saints, but only some are actually saint. Michelangelo, the greatest artist, was working on a sculptor. And so one fine day a person asked him, Hey Michael, what are you doing? Michelangelo gave a clear reply. He said, I am releasing an angel from this stone. For potentiality to become actuality, one has to go through purification. Just like the stone in the hands of Michelangelo went through purification to become a wonderful image of an angel. St. John in today's second reading tells us about the same thing. He says, Who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure. The psalmist in today's responsorial psalm tells us the ways to purify ourselves. He asks this question, Who can stand before the face of God? Then he says, A person who is having three types of these purification. First, one who is with clean hands, one who is with pure heart, one who is with pure soul. Clean hands and external purification, pure heart and internal purification, and pure soul, the core being of a person that needs to be purified. St. John, in today's first reading, saw a great vision. That is what the book of Revelation, the first reading, tells us. And he saw a multitude where a great number of people from various tribes, nations, languages were there before the presence of God. So sainthood is not just a privilege of some people, but it is a privilege of everyone who has a sincere desire to see God. For that matter, one may be a gardener or a cook, teacher or a doctor, scholar or a scientist or whoever the person may be. Everyone has a call to become a saint. Just like there are so many ways to love others, so also there are so many ways to become saint. St. John Mary Vianney says this wonderful thing. He says, not all have the same path, but all paths lead to God. Not all have the same path, but all paths lead to God. Whatever may be the path, but one underlying principle that we must remember when we walk this path, that is the principle of holiness that is taught by Christ. Because without holiness, no matter what path we take, it will be futile. Because letter to the Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 14, the Lord tells us, Without holiness, it is not possible to see God. Without holiness, it is not possible to see God. And to attain holiness, the Beatitudes help us. That is what we see in today's Gospel. 
In today's gospel we see the Lord tells us about the beatitudes the blessedness becoming saint is not something a great or a maximum thing that we can do for God it is a bare minimum thing that we can ever do for love of God it is a bare minimum requirement to reach heaven that's why sainthood is not something great achievement but a bare minimum requirement that we fulfill in our life to love god as we are celebrating this feast the solemnity of all the saints the saints that are canonized by the church the saints that are unknown to us as we celebrate the great feast of the solemnity of all the saints let us remember one quotation or insight that was given by leon bloy the french catholic novelist he says there is only one tragedy in the end that is not to have been a saint there is only one tragedy in the end that is not to have been a saint can we close our eyes and pray to jesus lord jesus help me to fulfill this bare minimum requirement that i may walk the path of sainthood that i may able to give myself to you and may fulfill your will in my life amen